Tomorrow I will be presenting uh, the results of this phase one, two clinical trial uh, using ipilimumab, nivolumab, and trabectidin for advanced leiomyosarcoma. And this is the results of the study, I believe, um, it's a small study, but, but I believe it has the potential of being a game changer for patients with advanced Lyme myosarcoma. The rationale, so why, why uh, immunotherapy for advanced uh, Lyme myosarcoma? Uh, previously, there have been scattered reports of uh, uh, activity <coughs> or anti-tumor activity of immunotherapy in patients with uh, sarcoma, but not with liosarcoma. And it's d not definitive. Um, I believe we are the first uh, to study the combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy together for advanced uh, liomyosarcoma. The, um, <clears throat> the, the decision to do this is based on the fact that sarcoma cells are more immunogenic at the onset or earlier uh, in the course of the disease. And it, it undergoes a process called, called um, cancer immune editing during the time when you're giving chemotherapy and radiation therapy. So while they are quiet at the time, they undergo immune editing of themselves so that at the end, they, be, they, they become energic meaning to say they are no longer immunogenic. And the reason that many of the, many of the studies don't work is because they're giving it at the very end when the cancer cells are non-immunogenic. Okay, so our hypothesis then is that if you gave it earlier in the, at the onset or the course of the, earlier in the course of the disease, that this immunotherapy combined with chemotherapy, which is an immune modulator, um, will, will be uh, most effective for patients with advanced Lyme myosarcoma. And, and the rationale for this, again, the, the mechanism of action is that ipilimumab blocks the CTLA-4 receptor present in T cells, and nivolumab blocks the PD-1 receptor present in T cells, and when you block PD-1, you also will block, uh, as an effect, the interaction between PD-1 and PDL-1 that is present in tumor cells. Now, ipilimumab then does those things, and the, the other part of it, so there's nivolumab and ipilimumab, uh, then there is T called trabectidin, uh, which is not only a cytotoxic chemotherapy, but it also is an immune modulator, and it will deplete, in addition to killing the cancer cells, it will deplete the uh, growth-promoting macrophages in the tumor microenvironment. And the net effect of that, of course, is tumor eradication.